Let's graph the equation y equals 5x plus 4, and we'll do it two ways. One, we'll use a table of values where we put values in for x, we get y, and then we graph that. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's start out. We can choose any values to put in for x. Zero is always a good one, because 5 times 0, that's 0 plus 4, so we would have this point. This is our first point that we'll graph. Let's choose negative 1 next. That'll help it fit on our graph because 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5, plus 4, that gives us a negative 1. So we have this point here. And then how about negative 2? 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10, plus 4, negative 6. All these fit on our graph. So we have 0, 4, x is 0, y is 4, then we have x is negative 1, y is negative 1, so negative 1, negative 1. We can stop here and draw a line, but that third point, that'll make sure we got this right. Negative 2, negative 6. So negative 2x, negative 6y, and they all line up. Let's put a line through them. Then we'll put arrows to show that this line goes to infinity. And any of these values, you put any value in for x, you get your y. It's going to be on this line here. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. If y equals mx plus b, b, that's the y-intercept. So that's where we cross the y-axis. So we come down and find 4 right there. Next, for the slope, it's helpful to think of this as 5 over 1. It's still 5, but now we can say rise over run. So we'll go to the y-intercept. We'll rise 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go over 1. And that would be on our line there. Since we're out of room, we could go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. From there, down 5, over 1. All the points are on the graph. So we did the first part correctly. This is Dr. B balancing the equation y equals 5x plus 4. Thanks for watching.